Hey guys, uh, today I thought I'd make kind of a, a bonus fun video. Um, you know, <clears throat> uh, I talk about my vets and, you know, I think about things that, you know, will, will be fun for them sometimes, you know. Um, not that, you know, I don't think about what's going to be fun for everyone else, but for, for the veterans especially. And, you know, I've got a friend, Richard, um, who was, you know, uh, the very first, um, or one of the very first Rios at the Fighter Weapons School in Miramar, California in 1969. Um, what a great guy. Um, I can't say enough about him. I really can't. And, you know, we, we talk guitar all the time, and he's always wanting to learn new things and new scales, and, you know, and just showing him is, is fun. But, you know, being able to give this to him, for me, means a lot. So, um, I figured I'd give him kind of the chord version of Sweet Home Alabama. I know he, he likes that song. Um, so, you know, it's going to have two of the chords that we've already covered in it, and really uh, all the shapes, okay? So, you know, we, we've learned a D, and we've learned a G, right? We're going to do what's called a C add 9, which is basically the same thing as that, that D shape or a G shape rather, I'm sorry, and we're going to move it down just one spot, right? And we're going to get, kind of get that, that C sound, right? So, anyhow, um, if you learn that C add 9, and if you want to know what that is, so it's, it's going to be, the movement is going to be, you've got your D already planted, so we're going to move from that D position, and just like I've said before, with the G, you know, it's it's those two strings, the top and second string, right, for the G, and then this finger down here. But this one, we're going to move this ring finger up one to the B, and we're going to move these two fingers down from the E and A to the A and D. And we're going to get what's called a C add 9, which you can use and substitute just about for any C major chord there is. So, anyhow, going through that, Richard, this one's for you, buddy. And I want you to really watch because it's not difficult at all, just like we talked about before, right? So, without doing all the, you know, the, the fancy stuff, we'll, we'll get into that stuff later. But this is the, the basic chord structure and movement for it. And uh, here it goes. much 90% of the song if you just kind of repeat that over and over again you can sing along swing on you know swing on I'm not gonna get my wonderful vocals mixed into this but you can sing along with it so Richard that one was for you and uh, everybody else you know uh, the chord progression on it it's gonna be a D C add 9 and a G and then like I said we'll get into the lead stuff later but you know you can you can mute it or you can, you know, play it open, bang it, have a, have a good time with it. That's the great thing about it, right? You don't have to play it exactly like it is on the record. Um, you can make it your own sometimes, especially when you're outside, you're having fun, and you got a bunch of friends around, and you want to sing Sweet Home Alabama, you know, have a good time with it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, like, subscribe, any suggestions, fire them to me. Take it easy.